the semiconductor makers GTC. Con it's a overall technology conference, of course. It's kicking off in San Jose today. Get this, some 10,000 people are going to be watching live. We understand last time it was 22 million watched virtually. Those expectations are high for a amount of people tuning in. But what it means for this stock rally that you can see 243% higher over the course of a year. Let's bring in Bloomberg Intelligence Analyst, Kanjan Savani, for more on what to expect. It's 4 p.m. Eastern, where I sit, 1 p.m. your time over on the West Coast. What will we hear from Jensen, do you think? Well, we expect a few significant uh, announcements that should sort of recharge the already strong rally. First is the announcement of the new B100 chip, which we believe will be the first two chip in a package product and why it's important is it should have a performance upgrade over H100s of at least 2x but we believe more sort of 2.5x. Uh, second would be sort of an upside on the TAM. Last GTC, the TAM was about a trillion, with 300 billion being the size for the market of the chips and hardware. We think since then the estimates have kept on rising, and they, they are likely to announce a higher number on the chips and the hardware section. And finally, what we think would be an ideal update would be a lot more clarity and visibility on their software business execution. More importantly, the monetization and the revenue run rate over there. Okay, so you want a lot of transparency on pricing, on speed, on addressable market. I'm interested on the pricing side of things just quickly because when we are seeing such iterations, when we are seeing such ability and power being brought the, to the market as in you, what you insinuate with the B100, are they going to be able to charge a whole load more for it? Uh, they should be able to. I mean, look, uh, 2x performance uh, over the last generation is significant, and it should help them widen their technology performance gap even higher. So they should be able to charge a lot more pricing with that. Briefly, the risk for you, Kunjan, is it that we don't get enough of these numbers? Is it that people's expectations are too high going in? Yeah, it's mainly the headline risk. I think in the intermediary period, while the B100 starts ramping, you, you know, we are hearing that customers might uh, think about, should I adopt, a, let's say, an H200 right now and or wait for a B100. So what that might mean is sort of a lower magnitude of beat and raises in the intermediary. Also, the other thing to remember is when B100 launches, it will be a new supply chain stack. Mm. So it could be, again, supply constraint limiting NVIDIA's ability to, again, deliver higher beats and raises. Very importantly put, Bloomberg Intelligence Analyst Kunjan Sabani, thank you so much.